So the reason I'm creating this presentation is because with BPQ routing, uh, I, I find that most systems that go online don't typically route the way they should. And what I mean by that is you can have messages floating all over the world when it's going to a station that's fairly close to you. So there's a better way of doing things, and let me explain. So in the olden days, you had a BBS in a town, and users would send messages, and they would pick them up, and each town had its own BBS, and life was good. Um, but if a message was for, say, somebody in another town, the BBSs were set up to forward, and then the users would pick them up. And if it wasn't destined for that BBS, it knew how to forward to the next station over. And this was this was great. Um, but when the internet came along with BBQ, you you have a little bit of a problem because, to give you an example, I sent a message to somebody in Maryland recently, and it got forwarded to somebody in Atlanta. Why Atlanta? Well, we'll go into that later. It then got forwarded to Belgium, and then to Nova Scotia, over to Portugal, and it just kept going on and on until finally it finally reached its, de its destination. And I, I think there was a delay of, of an hour or two, but it was so inefficient, and it got me wondering, why is this keep happening? And that's mainly because people don't understand fully how to route. So let me give an example. Um, this is my routing table. So if you go to my go to my node and you do an R command, these are all the different routes that I have. But there, you know, there could be a lot more. Um, for example, all the local BBSs I have direct routes to. Makes sense. Local messages. Um, it, it's just more efficient to have a, a local route. But Give you an example here. In Florida, there's a station that I have a direct route to, KK4DIV, and messages bound to Florida from my station get routed to him. Makes sense. He happens to have a direct route to somebody in Colorado, W0ARP, and he exchanges messages. So anytime that I want to send a message uh, to somebody in Colorado, I have my routing set up to go through KK4DIV. So anything Colorado related goes to his station and out to Colorado. But notice I also have a direct route to the same station in Colorado. I really don't need this. I can actually take him out and make sure that all messages that are sent from my BBS destined to Colorado go through KK4DIV. So how do you do that? Well, if you take a look at your uh, a typical station that you, you set up, yours might look like this. K3CHB is <clears throat> fairly local to me, so if I send him a message, obviously it's going to go to to him. Um, down here in the in the routing uh, for the for the bulletins, I have nothing. Uh, I don't have anything in personals either. It doesn't mean that he's not going to get messages. So if a user on his BBS um, exists and I send a message and it has k3chb.easternpennsylvania.pa.usa.northamerica, it is going to get to him regardless of what's in here. So let me explain about the, um, the flood bulls and the personals. To make it simple, Anything bulletin related is going to go in here. So if I want to send a bulletin to WW worldwide, I would put WW in this area. So in, in the case of K3CHB, if I put WW here, any bulletin is going to be sent to him. Same thing with personals. This is the spot where you can really drill down and start routing um, correctly more efficiently is more the more of what I'm trying to say so here here's how it works you have to have uh, well 
let me back up. These are for forwarding personal messages. We can get into the direct bull, directed bulls, but I'm not going to cover that here. Uh, the first BBS, BBS to match in here in the to field is going to trigger a forwarding or the most matching elements in the HR. And we'll get into the elements here shortly. Private messages and bulletins that have not reached their target area are forwarded to only one BBS. So if it's in here, if WW would be in here and it's forwarded to one station, it won't go to the next station. Uh, or excuse me. You won't have um, another BBS listed on your system. Uh, it, it'll, it's only going to forward one time. So that's why I don't use directed bulls in the, in the personal section. So in the case of KB8 UVN, he's in Ohio, and I want to make sure that all messages get set up that are down, bound for Ohio to go through KB8 UVN. So you set them up as a BBS, you make sure forwarding is enabled, and any message that has one of these or all of these elements is going to be forwarded to KB8 UVN. So here's an example. Each one of these is an element. So if a message uh, bound for AC8A, AC8A um, is sent, it is going to forward out through KB8 UVN. And the reason is, is because Ohio.USA.NorthAmerica is captured. It doesn't matter what's, what's in front of it. Now, if I specify CMH and the message is, is bound for south, this isn't going to work. This message will not get routed. So it would be best for anything Ohio related, it will get routed. It's best to have this here. And I can even take it a step further and say USA.North America. But in this case, every single personal message that has USA.North America will get routed through KB8 UVN, and I may not want that. So be careful about um, limiting. So if I just had USA down here, and then on the next line, North America, you may you might end up causing yourself some problems. So try to be specific. Add as many elements as you can. Um, packet headers, I, the reason I put this in here in, the, in this presentation is just to give you an example because some people don't know how to read the headers. Uh, this message was um, originated in Michigan, uh, WA8RSA. It got forwarded to Indiana and he forwarded it to Wisconsin and then to Florida. And there's my buddy, KK4DIV. So that's how these packet headers work. So back to forwarding. Let's say we have a BBS in Ohio, a BBS in Maryland, and a BBS in New York. The forwarding rule is going to look like this, very self-explanatory, right? Maryland is going to be Maryland. New York is going to be New York. But I also know that maybe this guy here has direct routes to Argentina and the UK. Now I could go to those stations and ask for a direct route, which is perfectly fine. But you don't want hundreds of routes to different stations when you know that BBS number three in New York has a direct route to Argentina. So you could just ask him, hey, do you mind if I forward anything with South America or Great Britain through you? See how fun this can get? You can even take it a step further and say, I'm just going to assume that he has a, a direct route to France as well. So take it, uh, take this example, PE1RRR, also known as RED. Everybody knows RED. In this case, I am saying anything bound for Europe or anything bound to South America. So these are the personal messages. If somebody sends a personal message on my BBS bound for South America, it is going to go to P1 
PE1 RRR. Same thing with the bulletins. If somebody sends, sends a bulletin to worldwide, it's going to go to red. For local BBSs, N3DWB, um, I'm also forwarding anything, any bulletins that are bound for worldwide. I could put USA in here as well if I wanted to on a new line. I'm also saying anything in eastern Pennsylvania is going to go through DWB. Notice I'm not saying PA.USA.North America. It's only specific to Eastern Pennsylvania. Because K3CHB, he's got all sorts of uh, uh, cool stuff going on at his QTH. So I know that he's got a route to just about everybody, especially in Pennsylvania. So I'm just using him as a catch-all. So if I don't know how to get to South, Eastern, or Western Pennsylvania, I know that that uh, that Jimmy can. Same thing for the bulletins. I'm sending any bulletin through him. In the case of uh, N3HZU, another local BBS, um, I'm not sending any bulletins because I know that Jimmy's going to do that. I know that K3CHB is going to do that, so there's no reason to, to send them through there. They'll get forwarded. And one other, you know, I, I added EPA as well for personals. So if, if I connect to him or he connects to me first and there's an email or a, a packet message bound for Eastern Pennsylvania, it'll go through HZU. So for out-of-state, we go back to the example of Florida. Notice I, you know, <laughs> notice I, I listed Florida and Colorado because I know he has a direct route to Colorado. So it's really quite simple, and it's kind of fun setting up routing, but it does take some thought, and messages will get through, and you can save yourself some memory on your system by not having a direct route to every single BBS that you come in contact with. It's just not efficient. Leave me any comments. Send me some corrections. Send me your tips. I'd be happy to look at them.